Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to fix your internet connection in your Windows based computer. Now, as we all know, there are many different issues that could cause the loss of internet connection. It could be a router issue, it could be a DNS, or it could just be something as simple as an unplugged cable. But in this video, I'm going to go through three different methods that I would suggest trying to fix your internet connection. Now, this is done on our Windows 10 computer, so the steps might be a little bit different if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, but the gist is the same. The first thing that I would recommend doing is to check to see if your current network adapter might be disabled by accident. So I'm going to head over to our Start button. I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to left click on network connections. Now I should mention that I purposely disabled our network device for the sake of this video so I could show you how to re-enable it. So I would right click on our device and then left click on enable. And now we see we have internet connection again down here. Now there are two other methods I'm going to show of how to repair your internet connection. So we're going to close out of that. And then I'm going to type into our search bar. I'm going to search control panel. So Windows 7, it should just be the one default control panel. If you're on Windows 10, make sure you select the desktop app control panel. So left click on that. Left click on network and internet. Now left click on internet options. Now that we are under internet properties along the tabs along the top, left click on the connections tab and then go down to LAN settings, also local area network settings if you want to call it by its full name. So now deselect under proxy server, um, unselect that if it's already selected, click OK and click OK again. That was method number two and then you would restart your computer and then hopefully you'd have internet once again. And now a third method I'm going to show we will be using the command prompt. Now we need to use an elevated command prompt to launch this command. There are different ways to launch an elevated or what is commonly known as an, a command prompt that has administrative rights. But I'm just going to click, right click on our taskbar along the bottom of the screen and then I'm going to left click on task manager I'm going to click on this little drop down for more details and then at the top I'm going to left click on file and then run new task and now I'm going to type in CMD and then right underneath that I'm going to left click on the create this task with administrative privileges now I'm going to click OK now I have a couple commands I'm going to type into our command prompt which suits the name of it. I will post this in the link of this video. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in. If you would rather just write it in by hand, you're more than willing to. Just pause the video or look in the description to see exactly what we are typing in here. I'm going to click on enter. So we just reset the Winsock catalog and it says we must restart the computer in order to complete the reset and now I'm going to type in the second line of code here. So now, like I said, we're going to have to restart the computer. Run both of those commands first. Restart the computer and hopefully you'll have internet access. Now, I know these were three different methods. Hopefully one of them will work for you. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.